Hello and welcome to this beginner's guide series to graphic design. From what graphic design is, skills to be a graphic designer, design theory, education you need, equipment you need, to the graphic design portfolio and interview advice. This series is for anyone at any level. So if you're interested in graphic design and consider it becoming a graphic designer, then join me as I discuss a series of graphic design topics. So the graphic part of graphic design is made up of visual elements, the building blocks of design. Through the harness of our artistic expression, we choose these visual elements and arrange them on a surface in a layout to convey an idea. The basic visual elements that combine to create graphic design include the following. Line, colour, shape, texture, space, form and typography. Whatever work you produce, be it for a magazine, a poster, a website or advertisement, these visual elements will play a part in your design. In this video, I'm going to discuss the second key visual and discuss colour as a visual element in graphic design. In this video, I will be referring to some visual diagrams. If you wish to follow along, you can download the PDF document that accompanies this series. Link is in the description. So colour plays one of the biggest roles in graphic design. It can give emphasis, it can be used as a mechanism of organisation, it can create impact and create a specific look and feel in a piece of graphic design work. When working with colour, it helps to have a good knowledge of colour theory. Colour theory provides us with practical guidance to help us mix colours and create interesting colour combinations. And it all starts with the colour wheel. The colour wheel is a really useful tool designed to help us choose colours that work well together. So this year, is the red, yellow, blue colour model, which consists of 12 colours. Now, if we jump onto the Adobe Colour website, we can see this colour wheel as more of a spectrum. This is an amazing resource to explore and create colour schemes. The address for this website is colour.adobe.com. I'll be referring to this website later in this episode, but for now, to help explain colour theory, I'll use this simple example. If you want to take a closer look at this colour wheel and the spectrum, you can find them in the downloadable PDF. Link is in the description. So the colour wheel consists of primary colours, secondary colours and tertiary colours, and these can be split into warm and cool colours. So let's take a look at each of these. So first is primary colours. Primary colours make up the basis for the colour wheel. Here they are red, yellow and blue. Next are the secondary colours. Secondary colours are made by mixing equal portions of the primary colours. These create green, orange and purple. Next are the tertiary colours. Tertiary colours are made by mixing a primary colour with a neighbouring secondary colour. For example, if we mix the yellow with the orange, we get a yellowy-orange colour in between. If we continue to mix the primary and neighbouring colours, we fill the gaps and get the remaining tertiary colours. Now, if we separate the colour wheel, we get two categories, warm and cool colours. On the right, we have the warm colours. These incorporate the red-violet colours through to yellow. On the left, we have cool colours. These incorporate the colours yellow through to indigo. So that completes the colour wheel. Now, this is a really useful tool designed to help us choose colour schemes. To help us choose interesting colour combinations that have harmony together or create contrast, there are some colour rules we can explore. These colour rules are referred to as monochromatic colours, analogous colours, complementary colours and triadic colours. So first we have monochromatic colours. Monochromatic colours are shades and tints of the same colour. The monochromatic colour scheme is typically balanced and easy on the eye. Now, if we jump onto the Adobe Color website at color.adobe.com, we can see some of these color rules on the left. If I click on the monochromatic, it will generate a monochromatic color scheme below. Now, if I click and drag the middle color circle in the spectrum and toggle the others, it will generate new schemes. Next, we have analogous colors. Analogous colors are those found close to each other on the color wheel. Analogous colours typically always work well together, 
since they have similar origins. Like the monochromatic colours, they are also balanced, but are typically more interesting, as these colours have more contrast. This time on the Adobe Colour website, if I click on Analogous, it will generate an analogous colour scheme. If I click and drag the middle circle, it will generate new schemes. Notice all the colours are similar to each other. Next we have complementary colours. Complementary colours are those found on opposite ends of the colour wheel. Complementary colours have high contrast, which produce vibrant, exciting colour schemes. As implied, complementary colours enhance each other and typically always work well together. Back on the Adobe Colour website, if I click on complementary, it will generate a complementary colour scheme. If I click and drag the middle circle, it will generate new schemes. Finally, we have triadic colours. Triadic colours are those spaced equally on the colour wheel. Triadic colours typically produce vibrant effects. Back on the Adobe Colour website, if I click on triadic, it will generate a triadic colour scheme. If I click and drag the middle circle, it will generate new schemes. So those are some rules you can keep in mind when exploring colours. So that is the second key visual element in graphic design. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button on my Facebook page. If you would like to see more videos like this in future, hit the subscribe button. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Tastitudes. So the next visual element is shape. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about shape as a visual element in graphic design. See you in the next video.